Hey, what's up all my earthlings and fellow life beings? Yeah, today, I think today's topic should be about, uh, uh, kind of, kind of touchy subject, but I see it in the news lately, this dude, uh, young Pharaoh was flipping out and everything, so I think, uh, Today's topic will be the dangers of blasphemy. And, but before I get into that, we got some other stuff to get into. And, uh, so, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that, man. Cause, I mean, I think it's a real, very important message that, uh, we all can learn from. But, yeah, so first I want to say, if anybody wants to do an interview with me or whatever, you hit me up at battleranks.com. Battleranks.com. No, battleranks at mail.com. You can hit me up at battleranks at mail.com. That's my, uh, my email. I have it on the description below. Um, I'm... I haven't been putting any kind of contact info in my descriptions. And I noticed that little flaw and I was like, uh yeah, I got the I got to fix that part. I gotta have it where I can uh know where be easily accessible. People trying to get in contact with me and I see a lot of other YouTubers they do the same thing. Other YouTubers do like yo, email me, email me and stuff like that. And I'm like, okay, well hell. Yeah, I got to do the same, you know what I'm saying? And that, you know, it's this it's learning the process, man, you know what I'm saying? You look how others are moving and move accordingly, and that's how you figure stuff out. Yo, and I was just, I'm passing through uh, Missouri right now. I was at a rest area, man, and they had signs around there about the surveillance cameras. And I was thinking, yo, why would you have all these signs warning, surveillance cameras warning, you're being surveilled, warning, you got these surveillance cameras. And I, I know what the thinking is. The thinking is that if the people see those surveillance cameras, they'll then be thinking, okay, let me uh, not commit this crime here because, you know, you got the cameras up, et cetera, et cetera. But to me, I think that destroys the whole point of having the surveillance cameras there. Like, imagine it's a dude, and he's like, yo, I just drugged this woman, I'm about to kill her or whatever, or he's about to mess with her or something, and then uh, he pulls in, and he see all the surveillance camera stuff, he's like, oh, damn, well, damn, they might see me, I wouldn't get away with my crime, let me go somewhere else and do it. It's not like he's gonna change his mind, like, you know, if he's a, a killer or a criminal, you know, a killing criminal, he's, he's going to do it anyway. So the only thing he's going to do, he's going to be like, oh, well, I got to go a different place from here. I can't do this here. That's why I say that sucks, because then we could catch the fool and we have everything on camera and we can see what's going on. Police can be uh, alerted, you know what I'm saying? Catch him in the act, have the cops pull up with the blimmers, blim, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, that, I always thought that was real stupid, but they're like, yo, if you want to video somebody, they got to know they're under surveillance and stuff like this, and if there's uh, security cameras around, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think all the states have that law. I think I'm going to look that up, I'm going to check that out later on, and uh, get back with y'all on that. Or somebody that knows, you can hit me up in the comment section and uh, tell me. But yeah, I, I just think having to, every place there's surveillance cameras, you have to put a stupid sticker there telling everybody there's surveillance cameras there. I just think that is just dumb as hell. As a criminal, I never heard of a criminal say, yeah, I used to be a criminal, then I seen a sticker about surveillance cameras, so I quit committing crimes. No, it's never that. They said, oh man, I saw the surveillance camera sticker there. I just went somewhere else to do my crime. Nope. 
Anyway, now getting into our main subjects of the day, man. This uh, this dude, young Pharaoh, man. He was a big YouTuber back in the day. Real nice, real nice numbers. You know what I'm saying? Really, uh, really putting it in. I mean, he has some. He's got a real weird belief system, which is all over the place, and it kind of changes on a day-to-day basis. I mean, at one point, he was saying, yo, anytime, anytime you commit blasphemy against God, and you're like, yo, I don't believe in God, and I, yo, this, this teacup to me is God, or I'm God, and stuff like that, man, that comes back on you, whether, no matter what your belief system is, because... Whether you believe in them or not, the punishment is the same, man. It was written. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into scriptures or nothing like that. I'm going to just say this right here. I digress. I was trying to make the point of I said that to say this. He changed up a lot of times, but he kind of started off with the black women with God and this and that, yeah, you know. Now, once he made his money and he moved to Cali, he kicked his black woman out the house for a white woman, which, hey, you love who you love, man. I don't care what the skin color is, man. I mean, I think all that racial crap, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody ain't nobody into that type of crap, but the race, the top race baiters that's getting paid off of that, you know what I'm saying? The race hustlers make their good money by kicking all that stupid shit. Now, like they don't, yo, he, he obviously don't even believe in the crap he's saying. I mean, so, anyway, so, yeah, so he kicked his so-called God out the house. <laughs> oh, man. And um, to me, I think it's just uh, the whole, the whole blasphemy coming full circle, man. Like they say, you got to you got to reap what you sow, man. The seeds that you sow in the ground, that's the fruits that you're going to receive, man, in life. So, I mean, he was cheeky, he he ended it up, and very disrespectful towards Christians. I mean, here it's like, yo, know, he's he actually disrespectful to all groups. I don't care what your religion, because he goes just as hard at Muslim, uh. Hindu, whatever. He don't care what your religion is. Uh, this dude's like banging on everybody, I mean, which I always thought was like, uh, mm. just uh, some kind of weird type of stuff. But, um, yeah, so, you know, the judgment's just the same, man. And, you know, the whole time he was like, like committing his blasphemy and saying some of the most disrespectful stuff, like you know, you know, he he like cuss out God, you know, he say God and start cussing and saying some of the most foulest, filthiest stuff you ever heard in your life, man. And you like, yo, yo, this dude's going to get punished, man. <laughs> Anybody with common sense would be like, yo, I'm about to get away from this. Uh, yeah, I won't be nowhere. Yeah, this dude, when his punishment come, I'm about to go the other way, bro. I see where this going. I've seen this show before. Anytime a man go out his mind like that right there, man, the, the punishment should, oh, it's coming. No matter your belief system, the punishment is the same. You can be ignorant of the law, the punishment is the same, bro. And it's, it's not that he's ignorant of, uh, ignorant of the law, man. You know God's law. Oh, he studied the book well. He even he even uh, quotes scriptures. So, I mean, he can't even play that. You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't know what he was doing. Matter of fact, if he's trying to uh, twist some words around and prove a little point, that fool even quotes scriptures in, in his little stupid videos. You know what I'm saying? So, man, it was like, it was a long time coming. And, you know, it, it was always going it was always going to rain on his head. And, you know, it just finally came that day, man. So he's got a little video he's done the other day. And uh, 
He's like babbling, talking all crazy and junk, looking all weird in the camera, looking like he uh smoked out on something. And some people are saying that he's allegedly on mushrooms, but eh, I don't know. The way he acting, I, I, don't, I think mushroom supposed to just have you like hallucinate, like you see stuff that's not there or whatever. I wouldn't know. I don't. I don't take chances like that. I ain't no drug head or nothing like that. But uh, but to me, it seemed more like he was on this drug that they call Flocker. And if you never heard of the drug Flocker, it uh, it messes you up and it has you just jumping and running around. Uh, you feel like you're burning up and you. They usually usually start pouring water all over themselves and stuff, trying to, you know, because they burn it. You know, they're trying to take the, put the flames out. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, when you commit blasphemy, you don't have to wait till you die to burn. You you could you burn right here on the planet, man. You can still be living and breathing, and be in hell right here on planet Earth. And that was a perfect example. So I would say anybody that want to commit hardcore blasphemy like this dude, look at his example and be like, yo, do I want that to be me? Do I want to go insane and lose my mind and do all this other stuff? So, yeah, so he got he was on the phone <clears throat> talking to somebody. It was kind of weird because... It was like white people this, white people that, but no, not the the white people that I'm cool with. Now I don't, uh, you know, but those other white people, the evil white people, they're like, yo, bro, you like all over the place, man. You could tell there was something wrong with them. And then it was like, uh, uh, oh yeah, uh, that's when he started like just. Slipping now, you could tell he was kind of his mind was all jumbled, jumbled up. He uh, gave out his address, like he said he didn't have no weapons. His gun got took. All he had was a knife, and then he gave out his address, like he's trying to get robbed or because you flash a lot of jewelry. You talk about this money you got. Somebody might come see you, man. Somebody might want that more than you. And they might value your jewelry over your life, man. They might value your money and your little, your little jewelry and trinkets over your life, bro. But if you was in your right mind, you wouldn't invite nobody to your house like that. You definitely wouldn't have put your address on the Internet like that, man. And then he kept saying, walk a flock of. And that, to me, I'm thinking that was more of a code of, the drug that he was puffing on, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what he was doing. Maybe he was straight sober. Maybe it wasn't no drug. So I have to say allegedly. I mean, you don't see him on the video with no pipe in his mouth or nothing like that. So the only thing you can say is allegedly, but either way, the mind wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and he said walk a flocker like a bunch of times, man. And he was like, Gave out his address, said he only want Waka Flocka to show up and to bring one person with him. Whoever Waka Flocka wanted to take with him. I'm like, what is this dude even talking about? This this isn't making sense here. Why would Waka Flocka go to a craziest person's house? <laughs> Yo, you, you think about that, man. Why would Waka Flocka be like, Yo, what? What is this dude talking about? <laughs> oh, man. That's like saying, yo. Yeah, I want this big time, well known rapper that got everything in the world to lose if something go bad to come to my house on some on some BS just because just cause I want him to come over here. Like, I mean, the whole thing, I don't know. It was. Oh, man, it was so weird. I couldn't get it. But I knew what it was. I said, oh, that time has arrived. 
That time is upon him. Listen, you only have so much time when you do stuff like that and commit blasphemy towards God like that. You have so much time before you have to pay the devil his due, man. And it was it was time, you know. The chickens had came home to roost. So he ended up embarrassing himself really hard, falling really hard in front of his followers and losing his sanity in front of his followers to show that God is greater than man. Anytime man thinks he's better than God, anytime man start calling himself God, start calling other people and objects God, and it falls off like that, <clears throat> then that's what that do, you know? So, and I'm not, and I, I and you know, I don't dislike the dude. Like in the Bible, it say, you don't hate the sinner, you hate the sin. So, you know, I wasn't messed up about him personally as a person. It's just the words coming out of his mouth and the foolishness he was doing and the blasphemy he was committing. You know, nobody can can be be a part of that. Knowingly, if you got common sense, you wouldn't want to be a part of that. And another thing you notice from this video is that the chick that uh, I don't know who he's talking to on the phone. It, it doesn't matter. I don't even care. But He'll, keep, he'll say something like just straight ridiculous and just be talking all jumbled up. And you hear the person on the phone going, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's okay, okay, uh-huh. Yo, why are you agreeing with this person? That, that was just being a yes man. Anybody that had any kind of love for this dude, cared about him at all, that would have been like, yo, Yo, you need to get off the internet right now. I don't know what's going on with you, but you got popped off or whatever you was thinking about and going through. But you about to get off the internet right now, man. I can't have you looking like this in front of people. But to egg him on and keep agreeing with him and, <laughs> and let him keep embarrassing himself. Yo, where that woman you put out that house, man? That woman you put out the house wouldn't have, wouldn't have went for that. She wouldn't have let you embarrass yourself like that. I seen many videos where she had your back, man. <clears throat> yeah, so I could go on for hours about this, man, but I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, yeah, but... Yeah, long story short, man, that he basically just was embarrassing, embarrassing himself and fell on the sword uh, on some mental stuff, I'm telling you. That blasphemy, man, finally caught up with him. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to slow my roll. I guess I'm going to just have to do a part two to this right here. Because um, I really, with the little time restraints I have, I don't have time to really get in everything I want to touch on on this subject, but if you, if you ain't learned nothing else from it, it's still falling, one thing you should learn from it is, you know, you don't fall behind just anybody, man, especially like, if they got a system that's so good, they wouldn't have to talk down a whole nother system, or in this case, hell, he talked about every religious system there is, so, I mean, he's kind of all over the place with it, I don't know, uh, whatever his, uh, whatever his views were, I think, was basically, just do whatever, I, I don't know, <laughs> there's no clear, you know what I'm saying, yeah, don't come, don't go to church, follow me, man, follow you where, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to just follow you to hell or something like that, man, you got to have a, you got to have a clear path and know what you're doing and 
have a route, what's the goals, what are your followers going to, I mean, this is weird, and when you follow behind a man, you have to think of how many years he's been on this planet, you know what I'm saying, I'm not sure how, what age young Pharaoh is, so let's just say whatever age he is, whether he's in his 20s or, or a little older, uh, was 20 years to God, you know what I'm saying? If I'm, if my tribe is following the book that was on this planet 5,000 years before this guy was born, again, what's 20 years to God, man? That's not even two seconds. It's like, come on, man. Uh, uh, yo, the book was here before he was born. Once he leave this planet, the book will still be here. So, uh, I don't know. Man, it's up to the person. You make your choice. But like I said, I went kind of long. So, uh, I got to get back to work. Just come out with a part two. That's what I'm going to do, man. That's what's up. Uh, listen. Yeah, if you want to holler at me, interview, debate, whatever, you can just, uh, Hit my email in the description below. Um, until next time, you know, right about this time, as I usually say, man, y'all be blessed and, you know, just treat everybody right. You know, try to live righteous, man. Just do good, man. That's all. Uh, and with that, about this time, like I usually say, I.